the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Pardon? You're right there. Let me explain something to you. The only thing I have, I, I, this is the beautiful part of trying to encourage you. See, what, we, what I didn't know all these years is that we're all pretty much in the same boat. Once you get into Christ, truth is available to you. It is given to you to know. It's given to us to know. We, we got to get this. It is given to us to know. He wants us to know him. I, I'm convinced that you don't understand how deep this is with, with God. He wants us to know him. He has given his son. He has done everything he can do to draw us into the deepest intimacy that we could possibly ever know. Now, all you've got to do to get in is that to take some time to think about what he's saying. And, and, and if you start thinking about what, if you start thinking about these scriptures, and start really asking God some very probing questions, God will speak to you. I believe that. And I, and I understand <laughs> that. You know, and, and all I'm saying is there's those questions that you ask are different than the questions that I ask. My questions have a lesser impact or a lesser dive into the information than the questions that you ask. And so some of the questions that you ask and when you share that you ask these questions and then the, the results of it, it, it affects me to the point to where now I can see, okay, well, maybe I should be asking these types of questions. Maybe I should be looking at these specific words throughout these, in, in these different manners. So, and in, in, in all I'm trying to say is that my fellowship with you and these other brothers is a form of discipleship for me because it's enhancing my form of of getting an understanding it's bringing me closer right. no different than when christ discipled his disciples yeah it brought them to a deeper and closer understanding with god now i'm not saying that I don't study and I don't get uh, answers from God and I don't hear from God. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that when we share what we have, it just brings a bigger picture and a bigger understanding, which is what I thought that she were trying to achieve by us doing the CIT. So. Right. I'm just, I'm, I'm, you feel good. I'm I just hope things. that, pardon? I'm going to say two things to you. Okay. I can never see what God will show you. Never. What I see is what God has conditioned me to see. Okay. And what I'm trying to get you to understand is that I need to see what God is showing you. And, that, and that's what I was saying. I need to see what he's showing Johnson. And I need to see what he's showing Hill and Taylor. Because all I got is just that one little piece of the truth. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying, that's why I'm trying to promote you. All you got to do is just increase the time that you're thinking about this stuff. It's, it's, listen, your mind and what you let in there regarding these scriptures is all God needs. If you, if he can get your mind, he can challenge you to use stuff that will blow you away. Right? And, and I, I all agree. I'm telling you is that this stuff that I'm, I'm I'm sharing with you, all this stuff come out of my I've just been finished down thinking about this stuff. In my backyard, I'm thinking about it. I agree. I'm out on the golf course, I'm thinking about it. I'm always thinking about it. How does, that, how does this fit? Yeah. All it is is time in thinking. I understand. I get it 100%. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. So the body will edify itself. Okay, I, I'm God just. Don't want, God don't want four or five McCants. I understand that, bro. Variety. I, I hear you. I agree with you 100. percent It just, at one point, to me, it seemed like 
this is just me <laughs> that you your your frustration is that we're not putting in an effort to bring to this amen so that, so that we have a deep amen so that we have a deeper understanding of what God has given each of us you don't want to just get some head knowledge you yes. want some time spent yes revelation from God information yeah. about certain scriptures that we are looking at yeah. not just head knowledge and conversation that that is given so and I understand that and 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 it is and I just want to say that what we are doing now has deeply impacted the not only the time spent, but the, the 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 deeper questions, the 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 deeper dive. You know, I'm not sitting on the shallow shore anymore. Come on, I'm, I'm I'm diving into the deep. Come on, bro. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So, and this is just being exposed to to you guys. Yes, sir. You know, there's there's things that I've I've gotten some some clarity on. And, and and confirmation, a lot of it is confirmation on what God is, is showing me. Uh -huh. so, but you know. the ability to to get, a, uh, I won't say a better way, but a, another way of looking at getting into the word uh, and, 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 and listening for God and then asking pertinent questions about specific things that will lead to other other areas that that has been important to me yeah. and that's why I that's why I'm here all the time that's why when I'm on vacation I'm chiming in because it's important to me yeah. so I, I I'm I'm just I'm encouraged by I, the things that you're sharing and the things that everyone else is sharing and it, it just, I just want you to know that it, it's, it's blessing me and it's, and it's helping me so I, I just feel I feel I don't want you being vexed by my effort or 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 to think that I'm not pursuing well in, in a asking, matter that, that is, really, let me get it. all I'm asking is is that when we come to the table, all of them have to know have invested time. For example, I give you an example. And now, we were, when we first, we first put CITs out there, when when I heard Jimmy CIT, and I don't know, I don't know if he ever shared it, but he read it. Immediately I recognized, okay, now that brother saw something I didn't see. He, he, he saw an aspect of the parable I didn't see. And see, I, I could tell he didn't just get that by, you know, he didn't get that by skimming over it. There was a certain amount of thought that had gone into that thing. There was a certain amount of time that had been invested. And what I'm saying to you is that, see, don't underestimate the spirit of God. Yeah, don't underestimate. See, I think this thing is not about so much about us. It's about the, the desire of our hearts to know him. And I, I'm, listen, I'm convinced now, but from what I can see, these are, this fellowship is for people who have a, who have a, a very serious hunger to know God. Mm -hmm. And that's all God needs. And as a matter of fact, that didn't come from you or me. That's being wrought in you. So all I'm, all I'm trying to get you to do is follow your hunger. Follow your third. Put, listen, if, if you're hungry, every effort in your life, nothing has a priority over you when you're hungry. Yeah. Except eating. Yeah. Everybody yeah. somebody going to the game like, man, I want to get something to eat. If I want to go do the other thing, you're hungry. Yeah. All I'm saying is, follow that hunger. And that what I found is that God is always faithful to feed us. Oh, he's good, Brother Addison. He's just trying to, he's just trying to pull 
he trying to provoke and pull more out, which is fine. Oh well, yeah, and, 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 he, and he has. I, I, can I tell y'all a quick story? I just heard this story and it really relates to to what we're talking about. I read this when I was when I was flying. Uh, there was this this scientist at one of these prestigious universities. He was doing a study. He took a mouse and put it in a in a jar where it didn't have much room, but there was enough water in there so that the the mouse couldn't touch the bottom and hold itself above water. And the mouse, he found that the mouse swam for like about 30 minutes and then started giving up. Okay. And then when the mouse finally gave up and sunk to the bottom to where he knew that the mouse gave up, he documented the time, took the mouse out, cleaned it off, let it rest, and then he put the mouse back in there. And he said he thought the mouse would just give up because he knew he couldn't get out. Okay. But the mouse not only swam for another 30 minutes, uh-huh. it swam for 60 hours. <laughs> what? Because it knew uh-huh. that salvation was available as long as it stayed afloat. Hmm. Interesting. So in that, this is how my life is. Amen. So God has saved me and he's cleaned me off and provided me with an understanding that as long as I don't give up, that he's always there to save me. And in that, here you guys are. You're, You're supporting me and you're giving me that understanding that there's always help available as long as I, if I don't give up. Come on. But, you know, you know bro, bro, that's, that's, uh, brothers, I, I think that God's ultimate goal, I mean, not one of his goals, not ultimate, is to manifest himself in the earth through us. And when we look at the first century disciples, these guys manifested the glory of God. Paul says the kingdom of God come not in word but in power. And so the manifestations of the Lord are being brought in us, but it's a process, and that process deals, I mean, 99% with our faith. So I I, I, I think we're being brought to a, a, a greater level, man, just understanding what the work that Jesus did was. You know, even that today, for me, the revelation is that Jesus literally, he made all things that are of God accessible to us. That was the work that he actually did, believe in the work that he has done and the work that he's doing through us. So I guess the information is the necessity to even know what we should be doing. But then belief is a hurdle that has to be crossed that can only come through what we're doing to me, only can come through what we're doing now. A lot of things that we study and go over help me to dispel the unbelief. The unbelief is that, yeah, can you raise the dead? If Jesus say so, I can't but help raise the dead. Can you open? Okay. The, the lessons are a lot more spiritual than I thought. Christianity itself manifests a lot more spiritual discipline, a more, more spiritual discipline than I had initially uh, believed it to be. Yeah. It's how you think. This battle is worn between your ears. <laughs> you know, you're an almost living, man. It's, it's nothing to you. And, and because of that understanding, really, man, it's something. The manifestations of our healing. I think about your heart issue, my heart issue, and the fact that we're still on this planet where many like us have left. I know two people that have been in the same situation. I've been they dead already. Wow. But what was different between what they were going through and what, what I'm going through. I don't believe I can die yet. <laughs> and, that, and that came through just to study the word and understand what, what, what the word says. Yes, sir. I believe God's hand. I truly believe God's thing. 
because all of us stuff we actually been there a long time ago. And, and, and some of the stuff is still manifesting, you know, and, and when they do the examinations and stuff, it's like, man, you guys says you don't even know why I look like I do. So, as bad as I look, <laughs> they times that to look worse. But I'm beginning to believe what God is saying. I'm beginning to believe the word and it's manifesting. It's the spirit that gives life to the body. It's probably nothing. Amen. Okay, that's good. I mean, I think the point is that he just wanted to provoke you all, all of us. And I like, I do enjoy everybody sharing their revelation as they get it. Because I think that's the, that's the whole point. I think he, he doesn't give you revelation. He doesn't give you answers if you're not going to share it. And if you ever notice, when, when we are sharing that revelation, man, it's, it's, I find out to say it's powerful. <laughs> it's you know, like, you know, that's what I understand. Those are the kind of questions we get answered. I mean, somebody tell me to crucify my flesh. What does that mean? You know, does it mean I'm going to go put myself away? You know, fly, fly, fly myself or something? But in these studies, we're getting a lot more detailed information concerning what these specific concepts we deal with all of our lives in the church really mean. Right. And and some of them are a lot different than what you think. Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Some of them are a lot different than what we think. Come on now. <laughs> I agree. I, I mean, I mean to me, that's uh how do you crucify your flesh? As, I think it's more denying of your flesh. Denying ourselves of the, the sensual desires of the body. Uh, and you know, I was looking at Bishop, I was looking at that that the whole scripture. Uh it kind of talks about uh, the crucifixion in total and the things that the disciple uh, believer go through, and I and I and I think it'd be a blessing, uh, especially brother Allison reading for us. <laughs> hey brother, look at that right there, bro. Look at it started. Is it? I love this. This this is one of those great scriptures you read about who we are. You know. Okay. So Come you want to read from 47 to what? Yeah, 7 to 18. That's the end of it. That's the end of the chapter. Okay. Second Corinthians 4, 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels. We have treasure. Huh? Excellency of the power may be of God. Come on now. Not of us. Come on, not of we us. We are troubled on every side. Yes. Not yet not distressed. We oh. are perplexed but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Yes. Passed down, but not destroyed. Come on. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus. Always. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Yes. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. Always. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Mortal flesh. Yes, sir. So then death worketh in us. Yes. But life in you. Yes. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, yes. and therefore I have spoken. Yes. We also believe, and therefore speak. Yes. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus. Come and on. shall present us with you. Come on. For all things are for your sake. All things. That the abundant grace might yes. through the thanksgiving of many redound to glory, to the glory of God. Yes. For which cause we faint not. That's a sacrifice. But though our outward man perish. That's what happened. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Yes, sir. For our light affliction, Deal which is it. but for a moment, Come on. working That's for it. us a far more exceeding and external weight of glory. Eternal. We look not at the things which are seen, no. but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. eternal. So I think that that's that that form of that discipleship, dying about the body and dealing with the conflicts of this world. I think that I think that's disciplining ourselves to move forward. 
Uh, matter of fact, one of the things, you know, that, that terms uh, Black Lives Matter, I was thinking of the fact is that dying and denying yourself and getting to the point that don't matter. That don't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the last thing, you know, that don't matter. I mean, I'm saying is your life as you go through life, right? The one of the things of a right. dead, one of the things I'm talking about, the, what are, one of the benefits of a, not a benefit, one of the aspects of a dead man is he ain't reacting to nothing. <laughs> He, I mean, what's going around him, he no longer cares. He don't react to it. Can, can, can I say this? It is. We are yet alive in Christ. And in Christ, he supersedes, he super rules the world system. So we, we give up a life to find a great life. He right. said, I come to you, might have life, you might have it more abundantly. So right. what I hear him saying is that even as we lived in this life or we existed in this life, we were constrained by the bondage of sin. But once we have died to the bondages of sin, we now exercise, we are able to exercise authority over this realm. And I think that he demonstrated that and that he was able to speak to the wind in the waves. He demonstrated that in that he was able to command the, 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 the unclean spirits. He was showing us the extent to which our influence really supersedes anything that we're going to experience in this in this world system. Now, the constraint becomes for us the will of God himself. And also the initiation becomes the will of God. And I think that for our own safety. Yeah. You know, uh, we are not... We are truly, as we are being. We are. We don't buy in. I mean, the, the the persecution that we experience is the suffering to be so. Turn the other cheek. You, you understand? Right, right. And you, why, why do you turn the other cheek? Okay. I, I, I would increase the. If create a harvest if we're able to pull it off the way he did it. Hey, yeah, what, if we do it, people are gonna get saved. Why, why do we, you know, I was thinking about the fact when I admit the word doesn't matter. A lot of cases is we've been trying to protect our image. We've been trying to protect our, our uh, self-worth. And, and, and therefore, we, we, there things bother us. That really, when you die yourself, you don't let it bother you anymore. Well, basically, yeah, it's you. they're trying to do what they're supposed to be trusting God to do for them. Yes, yes. 